Two astronauts from Boeing Starliner, Starliner are now awaiting a decision on when they can return home from space. After nine weeks on the International Space Station, NASA now says mechanical issues with the Starliner could turn their planned eight-day mission into eight months. Former astronaut Katie Coleman is here with more. Katie, thanks for being here. First, I just want to get your reaction when you found out these astronauts who set off of the ISS for eight days could end up stuck there for eight months. Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I, you know, I mean, we're of course thinking about safety. Um, and I say we, but I'm retired from NASA. But I loved living on the space station, and actually, I signed up for the year-long mission the, the day my feet hit the ground after being up there six months. It's an amazing. I mean, we're about the mission, and Sunny and Butch and that whole crew up there, and the team on the ground. I mean, that's what they're looking at. And you look at that picture of them in the airlock and in those spacesuits is Mike and Tracy. And do those look like faces that are like, oh, when do we get to come home? And and that's I'm going to tell you that that's real. Well, but you signed up for a year long mission. Do you mentally prepare? when you go on an eight day one that it might turn into an eight month one? Well, I did actually sign up for a six month mission and uh, would have stayed another six months. And when I got home, I signed up <laughs> for the year, but I, I didn't get to go. But, um, you know, I, eight days to eight months, it is a big, big shift. And at the same time, having to stay longer than you planned, especially on a test mission like this is, is something, I mean, just knowing these two people, I mean, we're all one big family and in, in a community. Um, you know, they've they've both lived on the space station. They both know what it means. They know what it doesn't mean. And and they know that everything that they do up there is is leading us closer to the, back to the moon and onto Mars. And so I, I do think that, I mean, I'm sure it's hard. I mean, it's actually, as much as I love being up there, it is definitely hard. So it's definitely hard. And at the same time, they know what a difference they are making up there. Two more people taking the space station to-do list and literally decimating it. I mean, it's making literally a whole new world for research on the space station because they're getting rid of all these backlog of tasks that were never quite the hottest ones to do, but, you know, really were necessary. And now they're, they're getting done because Sonny and Butch are there. So there's a big upside. And at the same time, I'm sure it's got to be hard on them. What about when it comes to supplies and just general logistics? Is the ISS prepared for extended stays like this for for someone to stay this much longer than originally planned before they even left the ground people were working you know certain kinds of equations of you know how long how long can we have them up there what are what are going to be the first things that we run out of it will it be food or water or oxygen or you know what are the things um and now that now they're doing that planning in a different way there is there is a you know just a change in having more people, it takes up more supplies. Um, but the ground is monitoring that, I'm sure. And and now they're reevaluating. And, and you have to remember that if they go to this sort of plan that they're looking at, I mean, so they're still planning on bringing Sunny and Butch home on the Starliner if the data speaks to them that it's safe to do. And if not, they're, they're trying to put these other plans in place because it takes time to work out the details in them. And some of those details are, what are you going to run out of? All right, Katie Coleman, it's always great to have you on and give us the first-hand perspective on this. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot.